Earth is dying. Stop us! Never! Ha. <laughs> 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 Like the bite of a flea. This is the place. Sharim. Yes, take over. Impressive. Entropy. Saira, you look pale. It was the echo again, wasn't it? Stronger. Yes? That might be because we're getting closer to where the last cleansing happened. If we just follow the visions, they might... ...lead us directly to the temple, and thus to their version of the beacon. Kirash. There. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
the city of a thousand floods. The name of the sun. It's so beautiful. And dangerous. Come, we need to get down there. He has betrayed us! And you've chosen ignorance. Now pay the price. What did you see? What? In other words, all that we have done so far is almost identical to how things went for the Pyreans. We are still part of the pattern. But does that mean everything we have achieved hasn't made any difference at all? that we found the Black Stones, the ancient starlings. All that the Prophet has seen is that someone betrayed the Pyreans too, and that this jackal was deluded as this fool Korak. We knew that already. We are the first to be so close to lighting the beacon. I can feel it. Get ready. These corpses, how can they still be here? They should have decayed long ago. Good question. safety. In vain. This is tragic. Yes, very tragic. Are you done? Of course. Impressive. I suppose we have company. You are impressive, you know that? Everything around you is falling apart, yet you refuse to give up. Tell us, Serenthia, what makes you keep going? Are you trying to manipulate me? If so, save your breath and fight instead. <laughs> oh, my, so grim. How nice it would be if everything could just be killed, wouldn't it? Even the past. Tell us, do your companions know the truth about you? All of it? Let's go. This is pointless. <laughs> pointless? You wound us. All we want is to help them understand. Just look at them. How clueless they are. Are you deaf? Shut up. Your games don't work on me. You'll take that as a no.
But there has to be a way. Not here in Inodan, Tiro. We could hide the pregnancy, but a living child? Uh, a light born and a mortal. It's blasphemy. As ridiculous as that may sound coming from my mouth. You could flee with him, you know. Take him somewhere where no one will find you. What? Erlanda, that... no. They would recognize us for who we are. Not if we took precautions. But even if they did, no one would dare oppose a Lightborn. No one. Tear Lord, I... please, don't let him grow up without a father. He will be special, I can feel it. And he will need you. What is this? But... No, I can't. The Council, Elanda. You know what they said about me. They want to do it. You mean the Exaltation? I, I can't believe you just said that. This is about a child, you Our child. Yes, our child. Why don't you tell me another thousand times? I have already... Stop this! Damn it. And you, you should know that better than anyone else. You know how hard I've worked to get here, Elanda. And now you want me to give it all up? For this... this thing? Tim! Help! I, I... I just don't know what to say. Being a Seraph, it, it's a title by the name of the sun. A title! How can that possibly be more important to you than... Oh, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Of course you can't. You've never known what it means to have to fight for something. We will give him away to one of your servants. It is better that way for him and for us. What would have happened if you had been there for your son, I wonder? Would he have ever started to blame the gods for this deep hatred lurking inside him? You made your son into what he became, and all because a promotion was more important to you than your own flesh and blood. And that is why you will fail here, don't you see? Because failing is what you do. As a soldier, as a protector of the gods, and as a father. You are a butcher, a loser, not the glorious savior you want people to remember you as. Admit it already. Kirish, that's a lot of them. What are your orders, Grandmaster? You Focus now.
That was all of them. Quickly now, to the gate. Garage. It's locked. What do we do? We will break it open. Do you see the ballista up there? Keep a Sakarish, you. Wait. Do you feel that? Yes. The sun. Cover! Wait, she's moving. Yes. Yes, that is good. Stay with us. You were hit by a piece of debris, but we are safe. His attack brought down the entire facade, but it also cut him off from us. He will not be able to get inside here. The building came down on top of her. There was nothing we could do. And now we're close enough. I'm sorry. Yes, and we will. But just we finished this. That arrogant display of the high ones was a bluff. All that matters now is that we summon the high one and take the Numinos from him. The gods, your injuries are only really superficial. More than How similar they are. Charim, do you have the word of the dead with you? Yes. Good. Then place it in front of the beacon and prepare yourself. Prophetess, it is now up to you. Somehow you must recall the moment when the last cleansing happened. If Shaila's theory is right, this is the only way to get our hands on something close to a physical form of a high one. No. But maybe you can somehow lure it. 
According to all that you have told me so far, the Echo seems to react to things or situations connected to the cycle. Take a look around and see if you can find... All right. The beacon was created to banish the High Ones from existence, but to do that, we need something from them. The core of this sickness is in people's heads. It is a way of thinking. But you will never understand that, High Priest. Will you? He has betrayed us! To call open the gates and now they're killing everyone! It was almost as if the beacon longed for the stones. They are the key. I feel it. They are similar to magic, or the power responsible for the tides. They are pure energy. How are you feeling, Prophetess? Luring the Echo like that, it must have strained you. It does, indeed. We are in the consciousness of a past civilization. Do you see that up there? Yaela was right after all. This is our Numinas, the essence of a High One. I, uh, I wish you could see this. In spite of everything. We are in his thoughts. What could you do against that? Time. We will see about that. Maybe that question will answer itself. Shara, do it. Carry the container to the essence. As you command, Aaron Vion. What is it? What are you waiting for? Tell me, Aranthiel. 
Back in the ruins, when the High Ones showed you that memory, it was the first time I saw you express real agitation. Not anger, but agitation. What you did to your son, do you regret it, I wonder? That you abandoned him in exchange for prestige and power. What? I don't think you do. What got to you was being reminded of your own failure. Regret. You don't know that feeling. You never have. Not even after Kira. Shana, what are you? I hired the mercenaries to come in. I helped him kill Lashari. And I let the Neremes into the city. And still, you don't have the slightest idea who I am, do you? Bye. You were there. The night of a thousand fires. Yes. I survived your massacre. One of only a few. Then you did not follow my son because you shared his ideals. You did it to get to me. What for you now? Justice? Justice. I am done with this world, Arantheo. I have been for a long time now. The only reason why I'm still here is a promise I made to someone. The promise that one day, I will be the one who takes everything from you. Yusuf, this is madness. Whatever you are planning to do, it will affect the whole world, not just me. If you want my death, why not just wait, damn it? Once we have lit the beacon, Korak will kill me. That way, all those innocent lives oh, will be... Just shut up! You take me for such a fool? As if there's anything in this world you would want more than to die a martyr! Teolor Arantheo, conqueror of the High Ones, savior of mankind. You like the sound of that, don't you? You like it so, so much. You know, at first, I was so frustrated with all the setbacks. When the Prophetess saved Lashari's research in Alt Rashengrad, and when Kuarek's first attack on the city didn't succeed. But then I realized that all of this would be so much more gratifying than anything else I could do to you. Your final attempt, and so close to your target, only to fail by my hand. You asked me once what my daughter's name was. Do you remember? Yes, I beg you, please. Lena. Her name was Lena. Selfish fool! You killed us all! Impressive, Arachnio. You really were close. A shame that you were too preoccupied with yourself to see it coming. Beast! You damn beast! He was possessed! Possessed from the start! Oh no, Arachnio. I'm afraid that is only half true. We reap, but you sowed. Of course we possessed him, but you did all the heavy lifting back in Kira, when you gave the order to massacre everyone dear to him, including his wife and his poor, poor daughter. And so, it is a happy ending after all, isn't it? Without the Marinos, you have nothing to use the Beacon's power on. And the only thing it is good for now is the destruction of your own beloved city. It will be a feast, and there will be nothing left of you once we've devoured you, 
nothing but cold, gray flesh. It is just as we said. You have failed as you always have done. What is it, Arambio? Lost your tongue? No. <laughs> no. I have not. Not at all. You have just presented me with a solution. Are you deaf? There is no solution. The cleansing will happen, and you will all die. Yes. Yes, we will. Your messiah, the citizens of the city, the armies, we will all burn like the sun. And then, it will be over. You're fantasizing, Arathiel. Without... Not this time. Here we must go our separate ways. Believe me, I wish it were otherwise. But in your condition, you would just be a burden. I'm sorry. The High Ones are right. We cannot use the beacon to banish them anymore. But do you remember what the Archmagister said? Without the Numinos, the beacon's energy would burst out without direction. Cause a massive explosion, yes. And that is the only thing we can do for mankind now. Koarek was and is essential to the High One's plan. Whatever shape the actual cleansing takes, he wants to make sure it will happen. And we, Prophetess, we may have failed in breaking the cycle for ourselves, but not for the others. The other people of this world, Arazia, Kira, Kile, they're affected by the cycle as much as Enderal. And I know that there must be people like us. People who have had the same dreams and feel what is about to happen. And if we kill Koarek and his armies, we buy these people time. Time to gather knowledge. Time to build a new beacon. And time to light it themselves. Those whom the Nerimis have not yet massacred anyway, you mean? They will die, as you and I will. It is the only way, don't you see? The High Ones are a lot weaker than they pretend to be. I feel it. We were so close to destroying them. And I have faith in the others out there who will fight them. They will succeed where this scum Sharim made us fail. It is, and I'm glad you see the truth of my words, Prophetess. I wish I did not have to leave you here, but in your condition, you would not make it up to the temple. I am sorry. begins with the dreams. Breathe. Into the mind of a high one? I hope you're joking. This was their last step. They are afraid of us. I feel it. You've killed us! You've killed us all! You have just shown me the solution. <laughs> 